Hello everyone and welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Today on General Hospital, Donna is transported to the hospital, Sunny confides in Jason, and TJ's family helps him grieve, while Molly focuses on Ava, who begins to panic. Jaws wakes up in bed to Dex, who is already awake. He texted a cadet who was on the night shift. Christina made it through, but he had no information about the baby. He asks if there is anything else he can do for her. Jaws claims he's already doing it. She snuggles into his arms before things become intense. TJ searches for funeral services online while Molly gets ready for work. Her caseload is enormous, and the office requires her. I need you more, TJ explains. His mother, Aunt Stella, and Uncle Curtis are coming over to help him pack up the nursery. Does she not want to be present for that? She claims the nursery symbolizes a future they will never have. She is unable to physically remove the contents. He understands, but they must name their daughter and organize her funeral. She tells him to choose whatever he wants. She departs as Jordan comes. Molly reaches for a piece of toast while wearing her blazer over her arm at home. At the table, TJ glances up from his laptop. At the hospital, Portia compliments Elizabeth on her work as chief nurse. Elizabeth claims she learned from the best, Epiphany. Trina visits Ava in her cell. She is concerned that Ava may not want to visit her because her statement contributed to her arrival. Ava is aware that she has answered inquiries regarding the accident honestly. Trina wonders if it was truly an accident or if she pushed Christina. Ava insisted Christina tripped and fell. Blame had to fall somewhere, and she's an easy scapegoat. I'm completely innocent. Jason joins Carly in her kitchen after driving Sunny home the night before. Carly is glad he asked Kevin for aid and contacted Jason for a ride. She interprets it as a sign that he is returning to them. As speculation mounts about Christina's fall from Ava's chamber, Jason says all he knows is that Christina was there to protect her father. Kevin checks in on Sunny at his penthouse. Sonny reports that his mind is clear, which Kevin interprets to suggest that the drug is effective. However, his blood tests revealed no presence of orphanadrine or lithium in his system. Sonny insists he has been taking his medications exactly as directed. Stella greets TJ as she and Curtis enter his flat. When Jordan and Stella leave for the kitchen, TJ worries Curtis that Molly isn't dealing with their loss. TJ later lashes out at his family. He never expected Sonny to risk his family in the way that he did. Jordan, Stella, and Curtis sat somberly at a table with TJ. A platter of hardly touched food rests in front of TJ. After Jason leaves, Joss returns home to a relieved Carly. She thinks Joss was with Trina last night, but Joss says she was with Dex. He simply makes her feel safe. Carly inquires as to whether they have reconciled. Donna enters before Joss can respond. Donna asks if they want vitamins, then delivers Carly Sunny's lithium pill container. When they discovered Donna had taken a bunch, they rushed her to the hospital. When Jason pays a visit to Sunny at home, he speaks up about coming to the hospital rooftop to end his misery. He believed that was the only way out. The only thing that stopped him was Morgan's appeal for him to survive. Jason wonders if Morgan was the part of him who realized something was amiss with his health. That's when Sonny understood something was seriously wrong, which is why he rushed to Kevin. However, he did not inform him about Morgan. He has only told Jason. Ava pokes her face through the bars in her cage and yells at Molly. Molly's back is turned, and her face tightens. Molly visits Ava's cell, accompanied by Dex, an unbiased witness. Ava shares her sorrow at the loss of her child. Molly reads her baby's autopsy report without emotion. Ava may not have intended to harm her daughter, but her actions did result in her death. It's time she took responsibility. Molly encourages her to plead guilty and spare them the agony of a trial. Ava vigorously defends herself. Christina came into her suite, attacked her, tripped, and fell. Ava feels deeply sorry for her loss, 
but Christina is to blame for her baby's death. An emotional Trina visits her mother's office at the hospital. She can't stop wondering what happened to Christina and the baby. Why are some people taken away too soon? Portia wishes she knew, but this time Ava bears the guilt. Trina insists that is not what happened. Portia was enraged after realizing she went to see Ava in jail. Trina understands she would never intentionally damage a child. Ava was there for her after Spencer died, and she does not want to abandon her. She understands deep down that Ava is a decent person. Portia reminds her that nice people may do horrible things. Stella looks at TJ with pain. Her hand rests against his shoulder. After packing everything up, TJ's family advises him to preserve at least one item to remember his daughter by. TJ reaches into a box. After Jordan and Curtis have carried out the boxes, Stella encourages TJ to express his pain. TJ cannot. It is too much. Stella describes what appears to be despair and rage as all of his love for his tiny baby, who now has no place to call home. Tears fall down his cheeks. Stella claims they are there to help share the burden, collect the love, and find new locations to store it. He cries, saying he isn't ready to let go. Stella's fiercely grips him. Curtis comforts Jordan, who is crying in the corridor. She expresses her dissatisfaction, which includes Molly's absence. He assures her that he is there for both TJ and her. Whatever she needs. They return to their apartment. TJ appreciates their support, but he could use some alone time. Jordan cuddles her son before they go. Ava's startled eyes shoot to the side of the jail cell bars, and her lips separate. When Kevin pays Ava a visit in her cell, she wants him to testify at her arraignment that Avery's well-being is dependent on her receiving bail. Kevin assures her that Sonny is not a danger to Avery because he is being treated. Ava tenses. She asks for further information, but Kevin is unable to provide it. He takes a step back to take a call in front of Ava. She hears him inquire about the difficulty with Mr. Corintho's medication. TJ, alone in his apartment, takes baby socks from his pocket. He slides to the floor, weeping. Molly hesitates in the hallway and turns away from her door. Inside, TJ sobs. Molly places her hand on the door and rushes away. In her office, Portia receives a call from Pentonville. She informs Trina that she needs to leave because Heather is on her way to the hospital for a follow-up. Elizabeth looks over her shoulder while dressed in scrubs at the hospital. Joss holds out a medicine bottle. Carly and Joss hurry inside the hospital alongside Donna. Elizabeth tells Joss to wait while she shows Carly and Donna to a room. Joss handed her the lithium bottle. Joss phones Sonny to update him. When Sonny and Jason arrive, Carly reveals Donna is having her stomach pumped. She stealthily removed the tablets from Avery's overnight bag. Elizabeth comes out to tell everyone that Donna did not take lithium. In fact, the pills contained no medication. You're telling me I've been taking placebos? Sonny asks. Mommy and Daddy fight, yet they still love each other. Just like Donna and Avery. People argue and make up, which is a normal part of life, especially with people who love each other. Carly says they both love her very much, but when Donna asks whether Daddy would come tomorrow, Carly says she's sure he wants to, but if he doesn't, he loves her anyhow. Sonny is looking down from the ledge of the roof when Morgan appears next to him and gently says, Dad, what are you doing? Imaginary Morgan stands behind Sonny on the hospital rooftop ledge. You're not here, you're just my imagination, says a shaken Sonny tells no one as the camera pulls back to reveal only him on the ledge. Morgan reappears and warns him he cannot do this. Everyone loves him, and he has a family. Sonny claims it is not true, and that all he does is cause agony and destruction for everyone. He always attempts to hide the darkness, yet it always emerges. Morgan knows, but he's also seen the light. He knew Sonny adored him. Sonny is exhausted. Every time Christina looks at him, he feels hopeful, but then she sees him beat up Dex. Sonny wanted to hurt him, and Christina fled because she was scared of her father. Morgan says yes, 
but she returns right away. She should have kept running. Sunny yells. If she kept running, the baby would still be alive. Sunny stands alone on the hospital's rooftop balcony. He glances down to the street below. Morgan claims that even when his children distance themselves, they always return because they adore him. He isn't flawless, but nobody is. Sonny claims he constantly fails. He failed Morgan. His death was due to Sonny. That's revisionist history at best, Morgan tells his father. It is Ava's fault. Sonny claims he shot Dante, Michael was in a coma for over a year as a result of him, Avery is cursed with Ava as a mother, and Christina lost the baby as a result of him. He should have ended it long ago, he says, scolding Morgan for her complaints. He understands why Morgan is there. So you can tell me to finally do the right thing. Morgan informs him that his children still need him. Sonny failed them all. He failed Morgan. A father's responsibility is to defend his children at all costs. He's not doing his children any good. He's finished. I can rest knowing my kids are taken care of. Morgan begs him to think about his children, grandchildren, and Christina, who is struggling for her life. Sonny needs to assist her. I am helping all my kids by keeping them safe from me, Sonny tells his son through tears. He then looks over and sees Morgan gone. Sitting in the questioning room, Ava looks up with a bewildered expression. In the show's concluding seconds, Ava stammers that she might have reached out to Christina. You may have? Anna calmly inquires. It's a haze, Ava admits. She was caught off guard. Anna shows her images of the altercation, which show Ava's hands on Christina and Christina slipping away from her. She arrests Ava for assault and manslaughter and reads her her rights. At the hospital, Alexis informs Dante and Sam that there has been no change, and Sam asks if they can fetch her anything. Alexis is confident Christina will survive, but what about their family? Sam says they will sort it out together. All of us. Christina moves and opens her eyes in her room. Molly greets Christina, and she begins to cry. I'm very sorry. I lost your child. I'm so sorry, Molly. She tears as Molly tries to calm her, apologizing repeatedly. Molly clutches Christina's hand as they cry together at her hospital bedside. Carly, on the other hand, appears to be melancholy as she embraces Donna close. Sonny has gone up to the rooftop. He walks downstairs and into Kevin's office. I need aid. Something is wrong with me. I can't take it anymore. As the citizens of Port Charles encounter these new events, their relationships will be strained, and their actual personalities will emerge. With one narrative intertwined with the others, the stakes are stronger than ever, ensuring a dramatic week for viewers of General Hospital. The latest allegations against Ava are serious and might result in a hefty prison sentence. The court struggle is intense, with her attorney, Scott Baldwin, scrambling to find a way to defend her. Meanwhile, Sonny, who has always had a strained relationship with Ava, may exploit this chance to take full custody of Avery. Adding to her problems is the growing distrust of those around her. Ava's confidant, Nina Reeves, is divided between helping her friend and safeguarding her own interests. The rising strain is driving Ava to the limit, and her desperation is palpable as she considers dramatic steps to clear her name. During this upheaval, Ava's weakness is exposed. She is battling not just for her freedom, but also for her daughter's future. The legal proceedings are sure to be a battleground, with dramatic courtroom confrontations and frightening revelations that could transform Ava's life forever. This week, Anna Devane, the smart and tenacious investigator, will focus on Trina Robinson. Anna's instincts have been refined over years of solving complex cases, and she believes Trina may have important information concerning recent occurrences in Port Charles. Trina, a young lady facing her own set of issues, finds herself on the hot seat as Anna's questioning get more probing. Anna is keen to find out the truth, and her line of questioning indicates that she suspects Trina is either suppressing information or unintentionally involved in something greater. The interactions between Anna and Trina are fraught with tension. 
Trina's devotion to her friends and family affects her willingness to reveal information that could implicate those she cares about. Meanwhile, Anna's determination is driven by the need to defend the neighborhood and bring justice to light. Trina's relationship with significant figures in Port Charles, especially her mother, Portia Robinson, and her friends, makes her an important piece of the puzzle. As Anna looks deeper, viewers are left wondering what secrets Trina is hiding and how they will affect the overall story. These three main narratives aren't unfolding in isolation. Because poor Charles' inhabitants' lives are so intertwined, each development has an impact on others. Christina's health, Ava's legal challenges, and Anna's inquiry are all part of a broader story of intrigue and drama. The Corinthos family's struggle with Christina's health problem puts them on a collision course with Ava, as Sonny's determination to protect his children may clash with Ava's fight to keep custody of Avery. The legal and emotional concerns are linked, resulting in a multidimensional struggle with dramatic emotional scenes. Anna's inquiry into Trina adds an extra layer of intricacy. Trina's potential knowledge of Port Charles's undercurrents could influence the outcomes of Christina's and Ava's situations. As Anna searches for the truth, she may discover connections that might either heal or further fracture the community. As these plotlines develop, General Hospital continues to attract viewers with its mix of suspense, emotion, and character-driven drama. Christina's fight for survival. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.